Hello, I'm David Finlayson, Chairman of Warren Business Consulting. We're a specialist learning and development organisation that helps to develop the careers of young professionals in oil and gas. Today, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about creaming curves and how they're used in oil and gas exploration. So in my earlier talk, I explained about creaming curves and what they are and how they're constructed today. I'd like to give you a very specific example of creaming curves from uh, different areas of the North Sea in the UK. So what you're looking at here are the creaming curves for four different basins in the UK North Sea. West of Shetland here where approximately 200 exploration wells have been drilled. Southern North Sea approximately 800 wells have been drilled. Central North Sea with over a thousand wells drilled and Northern North Sea with some 500 wells drilled. So these are telling different stories about these basins. If we go for example to the Northern North Sea here, you can see that after the initial exploration phase very quickly all the large fields were discovered very early on in the basin. So there's a very steep rise to a point after about 70 wells when the incremental resources being added were relatively modest compared to the early years. So I'd like to contrast that with the one at the bottom here, the west of Shetland, where only say 150 wells have been drilled and you can see that there was an early step, then a period of not much activity, or drilling activity but not too big a, of a discovery, then a big step up with Foynaven and Shehalian and then not too much um, resource growth and then as towards the end of this period a little step up again. So you can see on the one hand a very mature basin where lots of drilling has gone on and very incremental resource has been added and a basin where one would feel the story hasn't been fully told yet. There's been a series of steps up uh, responding to new discoveries but relatively few wells have been drilled. Let's look in the middle here at the Central North Sea. In many ways it's like the classic creaming curve. You can see that early on big discoveries being made and a very rapid rise with some of the named fields there. Um, after 500 wells things are beginning to level off. But after a thousand wells another step up. This was a new play concept. This was a buzzard field. This was a new oil found in a relatively mature exploration area. And the North Sea then got, was stimulated into a further period of exploration. So you can see how the creaming curves tells you a little bit about the story of a basin. It tells you how much resource has been added for the number of exploration wells that have been drilled. And it forces you to ask the questions. Are you, perhaps like the Northern North Sea, in a state of maturity and therefore further exploration isn't paid off? Or are you in an area like the Central North Sea where actually there has been um, discoveries even fairly recently, new ploy concepts being um, developed and discoveries continue to be made. This is the choice that faces explorationists in any basin in the world, deciding whether the basin has reached its full potential or whether the creaming curve is going to take another step up and enter a new phase of its history of development. Thank you. If you want to know more about this topic, please visit the um, Warren Business Consulting website, www.warrenbusinessconsulting.com, where you will find details of all our oil and gas trading programs. Thank you.